All right. I don't know if I've ever truly given myself a good test. Bane of the stricken. I'm going to try it right now. I'm going to go out and I'm going to attack some monsters. See what kind of damage numbers I get over time. And what I should see... <coughs> is damage numbers <coughs> go up. monsters that I hit and now uh, you know I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna attack a group of a group of zombies <clears throat> And I'm just gonna see what kinds of uh, what kinds of damage numbers that I get. Like I said, uh, there should be you should I should see that the damage numbers increase over time against the zombies that I hit. Doesn't say anything about consecutively or can I do something else if I run away and then come back if I alternate between monsters. I want to see what I get. I'm pretty much having it just display critical hit numbers only because um, if you just do regular numbers, there's just going to be too many numbers that pop up. I'm going to go back and look at the recording. At the moment, I do not have my Legacy of Dreams because I don't want to kill the monsters. I just want to damage them and see the damage numbers as they pop up. Hopefully I don't die. Do that here. Why can't I?
Let me just take over. I just... I don't have that many different types of creatures there. Just a couple of normal zombies. Definitely be starting to get higher. I do not have audacity or anything like that on. It should just be straight damage. <clears throat> so I'm going to leave this off at 2,000. See if it's still at 2,000 after I just attack that guy. Nope. Now I don't know if that's because he's just so far away. Five hundred, six hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred. Seven hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred. Kind of looks like it's working. something different. Let's change this to the electrocute. Chain lightning. Watch the damage numbers here and just see. kill the enemies.
Alright, we're gonna try and direct all attacks at this big guy right here. And I'll watch his numbers compared to the numbers of the others. I'm assuming that it's gonna be just his damage numbers. We gotta go up. We gotta go down. Go back and look at his ass there. Two hundred and one K, four K, four. The others are all in the low 2000s. Need more time. Oh, come on. <coughs> so the bane of the stricken, I guess, is only going up on the enemy that I target, which I guess I kind of expected that, you know. I'm His damage of the are up to three thousand K twenty nine three thousand. Guess I'll have to go back and look, but it looks like there's too many of them. I'm just trying to stay alive more than anything. <clears throat> so even though they're all getting zapped occasionally.
Maybe the stricken is not affecting them, I guess. Kinda what I expected, I guess. Alright. Oops. I don't have my lady with her town portal shoulders on. Alright, kind of what I wanted to see. I guess the Bane of the Stricken seems to be working. I don't know. Just sometimes against a Rift Guardian, it just seems like I'm not doing any more damage towards the end of that fight than at the beginning. Maybe it's because maybe somewhere in the middle there, maybe the Rift Guardians get a little more beefy. I, I do notice they s tend to use different skills, different spells. Maybe like halfway through or something like that. I know Raziel, he's got a big, what looks like a necromancer teeth spell. He just shoots out these things in all directions and they're pretty beefy. But he doesn't usually start doing that right away. So maybe uh, defensive, they maybe he comes a little more defensive halfway through the fight or something like that. I don't know. All right. That was just a quickie video. Uh, next up is going to be, I'm going to give another try to Veer with a little idea I have for it. We'll see. I, I kind of don't think it's going to work out all that well, but I want to at least try it. I'll be back.